Okay, 6-8, transforming polynomial functions. We're doing examples 3 and 4. Um, example 3 is compressing and stretching polynomial functions. So basically we're doing the same thing we did for the first two examples. We're just following the instructions. Um, let f of x equal that polynomial. Graph f and g on the same coordinate plane. Describe g as a transformation of f. I'm going to ask you to graph both of those in your calculator and give me the description because graphing those by hand, we learned in the last section, takes quite a bit of time. So we'll use our calculators. So g of x equals 1 half f of x. We're just going to take 1 half and multiply it by f of x. Okay, we learned that when you have something on the outside, multiplied by a function, it is vertical. And when it's a half, it's a vertical compression. So this would be a vertical compression by a factor of a half. And we would get an answer of 1 half times 2 is 1. 1 half times 6 is 3. And 1 half times 1 is 1 half. So that would be our polynomial function. And when you graph f of x and g of x, in your calculator, you should get a vertical compression um, towards the x-axis. And the picture there in the corner is what you would see. Let f of x equal that function. Graph f and g on the same coordinate plane and describe g as a transformation of f. So here our inside is changing. Okay, that means that it's the hard one, which is horizontal. So 1 over b equals 1 over 3, b equals 3. So that would be the horizontal stretch by a factor of 3. Let's go ahead and work it out. 2 times 1 third x to the fourth minus 6 times 1 third x squared plus 1. Here's where your calculator skills um, get useful. One third raised to the fourth power is one third times one third times one third times one third. That would be one over 81 x to the fourth times two, which is two over 81 x to the fourth. Okay, next set. One third raised to the second power is one ninth x squared times 6. 6 over 9 is the same as 2 over 3 plus 1. So this would be g of x. You would graph them both and you would get a horizontal stretch by a factor of 3. Okay, we didn't write on the first slide that that was a vertical compression by a factor of a half. Um, okay, this would be a U try. It's not written there, but it is. Um, so push pause and go ahead and try it. There you go. You have your polynomial and your description. Try this one on your own. Okay, there you go. Um, each x changes to a 1 half x, and you have to do all your powers. And then solve for b. So we have a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2. Okay, now we're going to combine transformations. This gets a little sticky, but if we just go in the order that it's given to us, we will get it right. So we have f of x equals 6x cubed minus 3. Um, it says write a function and then support your solution by using a graphing calculator. So you're going to graph it in your calculator and just check to see if you're right. First, we're going to compress vertically by a factor of a third. That means a equals one third. Um, and if you remember, our new function equals a times our old function. And shift two units right means h equals two. So the inside is x minus h. Um, our new function would be f x minus h. So first let's do the one third. I get one third times f of x. And that equals one third times six is two. 
one third times three is one. Okay, so now we need to shift two units right. That means that our x turns into an x minus two. Okay, because h equals two, um, we put that into our x minus h, so it's x minus two. Let's go ahead and multiply that x minus two. I'm gonna work that up here. X minus two times x minus two is x squared minus four x plus four times x minus two again. I'll distribute this time. I get x cubed minus four x squared plus four x. Now I'll distribute the negative two minus two x squared plus eight x minus eight. Collect like terms, I'm scanning for x cubes. I just see one, cross it off. x squared, I see two, so negative four and negative two is negative six. Cross them off. A positive four and a positive eight is a positive 12 and a negative eight. So that's what we get down here. Yikes, long problem, huh? I'm just gonna write that right here. I think I'll run out of room. I get 2x cubed minus 12x squared plus 24x minus 16 minus 1. That's <laughs> minus 17. I hope you can even read this. Goodness. At this point, you guys can do the work on your own because you got that. But there's the polynomial. Let's try the next one. Okay, we're doing com com combining transformations, sorry. Um, first we'll reflect across the x-axis. That means the inside goes negative. And then shift two units down, k equals negative two. So, first we'll change our insides to reflect over the y-axis. And then go down two. So pretty simple. A negative raised to an odd power stays negative. Minus three minus two. Negative six minus five. Okay, graph it, make sure it flips. <laughs> okay. Okay, these are both U tries. So go ahead and push pause and try this one, and then push pause and try the next one. There you go. A lot of work. I hope you can follow the steps. Here's where I did all the multiplication. Um, we have a compress vertically by a factor of a half, so a equals one half, and move three units right is um, h equals three. So first I did the compression, then the vertical. Okay, one more. Um, reflect across the x-axis and move four units left. Push pause. Sort of long and drawn out, but not too difficult. Go ahead and see if you can get the same answer. That's all we have for today.